Hold it, hold it, man. Hold it. What, what, what the fuck is this kid doing in here? Get the hell out of here before I kick your little ass. Breaking news, man. And I wish I was being funny, bruh. But I'm not, fam. Uh, it's looking like Ryan Garcia has talked himself into a fight with Errol Spence Jr. And the date is already set, bruh. Call me a liar if you want to. Y'all know me. I show proof. I show proof, man. Bye bye, Spence. August 10th, Dallas Cowboy Stadium, sellout crowd. And here's the thing, man. Uh, to a certain degree, I like the idea. I do. I don't want nobody draining Spence in his weight, but uh, I like the idea. But the, the only thing about this, I think this does injustice to Devin Haney. That's the only thing, bro. Because right now, man, Devin is going through a scenario where he could have been cheated, bro. And now this put the sport of boxing in the spot, right? Because here's the thing. Ryan Garcia is already a big star. We know that, right? He sold out an event with uh, Tank Davis. He sold out an event with Devin Haney. He's a star, right? But so is Errol Spence Jr. They both are, bro. Uh, Errol Spence is, is uh, just as much as a sales pitch to the Spanish community as Ryan Garcia. And I know y'all don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Yeah. Uh, and I live in Texas. I'm in Houston, though. I'm not in Dallas. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, man, it, it's a lot of uh, Spanish uh, and Latino people around. It is. So, yeah, to see somebody from Texas who is a big star in the sport of boxing, yeah, they're going to just get right behind them as well. Right? It, it is what it is, bro. So it's a good idea, right? This is a good idea. But I just think it does some disservice because it puts the sport of boxing in the spot where it says, dang, miss this money, right? Miss this money with Errol Spence Jr. and Ryan Garcia, which is going to sell out an event and it's going to probably have some crazy numbers and pay-per-view buys or, you know, call him a cheater and don't get the money, right? And you, come on, bro. Like, it's crazy I'm even thinking about this, bro. But to a certain degree, you kind of got to see it like, why pass on the money? Screw Devin Haney, right? No offense. I don't, I don't, I don't, I do not mean that to be offensive, bro. But you kind of got to look at it that way, bro. Ryan Garcia going to sell, and so is Errol Spence Jr. And then it's his return fight from fighting Terrence Crawford. But they had some back and forth going on, bro, because I wanted to make sure it was real. So I'm like, man, Ryan posted this. Let me go see if it's real, bro. Errol been talking. He been talking, man. He said that N word is a, a tune up. What has he done, and who has he beat without it being a problem? LOL. I had to consistently ask uh, his coach for weeks to train the lane, which I can I, I can pretty much see that, bro. I can see that happening. Uh, Errol Spence having to talk to Derek James over and over and over and over about bringing Ryan Garcia to camp because I, I can understand like when I look at Derek James he seems like he don't want to be a nobody way he want to stay out the way he don't want to be a part of nothing he just man just leave me alone <laughs> to a certain degree like no offense to Derek James but that's kind of how he seems every time I see him in interviews or whatever case may be he seems like he off to himself kind of an introvert kind of guy and uh he he also seems like he don't trust new people like you know hey once you in my circle, you in my circle. Once you leave the circle, you gone. And I don't want nobody new coming in, right? Like you really, he he really got to mess with you in order for you to come in. So it is what it is, right? Saying that to say, he goes on to say, <clears throat> excuse me, stop letting this boy get a pass. Like we don't remember you taking a knee and getting up at ten, coward ass f, right? Um, which it is what it is. Tank didn't get to finish you because you quit like a hoe. Uh, Spence said, like we knew you would do, uh, go find someone to play with. And uh, he, as you can see, Ryan uh, sent him a post uh, or response saying, please, let's run it. I will gladly destroy you and finish the job Crawford almost did. I will finish the job. So it is what it is in that aspect. You also have Ryan releasing this on his uh, Twitter page. Uh, by saying one thing we know or we do know is I've never looked like this 
nah, it's giving Goonies. I'm scared. And uh, you also get a back and forth clip. So basically, bro, this is nephew not lying to you, bro. This is this is legit real. This is legit real. Um, the 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 words here are saying I legit beat his ass at the AT&T Stadium at 154 to 160 pounds. That's crazy giving Spence that kind of leeway, Ryan. That's crazy. That is, bruh, you giving Spence, Errol Spence Jr. between 154 and 160? Ryan Garcia, are you correct? Man, all I ask, right? This is all I ask. I ask, right? Let me go back to this. Um, I ask that whoever... It's in charge of putting this fight together. Y'all get a good ref, man. Jack Reese or somebody who cares about fighters, bruh. Like, for real, man. Get get somebody. Harvey Doc. That that might work. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, man. Kenny Bayless. Somebody in that ring who care about fighters, bruh. So y'all can get Errol Spence off this boy's ass. Somebody, man. Somebody stop Spence from putting Ryan out of his misery, bruh. Like, all right, it's going to be all fun and games until we get there, right? Ryan, you leaving your ribs too open, fam. We seen it with Devin Haney. He just didn't have the power to do Spence going to break you, bro. You you give him your ribs. He going to break you, bro. But it is what it is, man. Somebody get Harvey or, or, or Kenny or Jack in that ring to protect Ryan. From, from Spence beating his ass. Somebody do it, please. Bro, I don't care if you dumped on the video, bro. Never you just trying to look out for Ryan's safety, bro. This is a dangerous dude on the left side of the screen. Anyways, he says, uh, off the strength of him testing positive, but I don't take uh, tune-ups. This is Errol Spence saying. Oh, no, this is Spence saying he want to get 154 uh, to 160. Oh, okay, that makes sense. He says, uh, please let I mean, Ryan still agree to it. This dude crazy, man. 147, Ryan. 147. That's the only way you're going to have any chance on this planet of beating Errol Spence with the defense that you're using as of right now. Right? Derek James is trying to tell you to stop doing that. He he was trying to tell you at the fight, even with Devin Haney, he was telling you at the fight. They Actually, they asked him. Right, they asked uh, Derek James. They was uh, they they went to him, and and the, the reporter was like, "Yeah, we see he's using this uh, Philly Shell defense." As soon as uh, the reporter asked, right, about the Philly Shell, Derek James, I don't like that. Nah, nah, man, I don't like that. I keep telling him stop doing. That was the first thing he said. Y'all go back and watch that fight. Go back and watch it and hear what Derek James was saying at that round. I think it was like around eight, nine, around that that time, right? And uh, there's the, I don't like that. I keep telling them stop doing that. Bruh, you cannot do that with Errol Spence, uh, Ryan. It worked with Devin. He didn't have that power. Spence does, bruh. Spence does. So it is what it is. He says, please, I'll gladly destroy you and finish. Okay, we read that already. He says, Tank Dingy, we read that already. He says, uh, let's see this P word next move. Won't do S, right? I'm calling him out, and there is no offer. Errol Spence, I welcome the challenge at 160 pounds. Ryan, you crazy. You crazy. But it is what it is, man. I just asked that y'all put a, a legitimate referee in the ring, somebody who actually cares about fighters in there, because we get uh, a lot of refs, right? Because I'm hearing that the refs don't make that much money anyways, right? No offense to their pockets, but it is what it is, right? You imagine hosting some of the best fights um, money could buy, and not making a good amount of money for it, bro. So it is what it is. Um, saying that to say, we, we have certain refs, bro, where they let the fight go on too long, bro. I mean, too long. And you, you'll hear the fighter themselves say, bro, stop the fight, bro. Bro, stop the fight. I've seen several guys on uh, on uh, YouTube, be before I even came a YouTuber, right, where I could listen to fights, uh, certain people uh, host fights, fight parties on their channel, bruh, and I would hear them screaming at the uh, screen to, to stop the fight, stop the fight, whatever the case may be, bruh. So we need a ref in there who cares about fighters to stop Errol Spence from destroying Ryan Garcia's, uh, just his livelihood in general, bruh. This is going to be crazy, 160 pounds. Errol Spence Jr., he get to train how he wants to train. He get to eat how he wants to eat. He get to train. with Man, dog, you don't want to get this guy this kind of leeway. But, hey, Ryan Garcia is on a roll right now. He's on a streak 2-0. Uh, he defeated Devin Haney. 
which most could say was a great game plan. I think it was a great game plan as well, but you also got to take into consideration what we found out afterwards. Right, I see you guys going at some of these YouTubers who are talking about Ryan Garcia. Like, they made up Ryan Garcia uh, uh, popping dirty. They didn't make it up, bro. They didn't make it up. Vada did. Vada said the man popped dirty, right? So, you guys going after these YouTubers and, and disrespecting these YouTubers they ain't going to change nothing, bro. It ain't gonna change nothing, bro. Vada said the dude popped dirty, right? Vada said that. So get mad at Vada. Get mad at Ryan. Like you know what I'm saying? I know you guys don't want to hear some of these YouTubers coming at Ryan head like this, especially coming off the most impressive win of his career, right? When him doing all that other stuff, bro, smoking and drinking and stuff. Like, man, I, I, I'm gonna keep my words to a minimum because I said I wouldn't talk about the whole scenario until we got the truth but at this particular point in time bro he got the truth right Errol Spence Jr. side by side and they got a fight date yeah bro so it's looking like Devin Haney just might not right get justice bro because you gotta man like they might pay him on they might pay him on the, on the hush they might pay him on the hush they might not do nothing because technically they don't owe Devin Haney nothing Right now, technically, that sample, right? That sample has got a date, it got a time. I'm pretty sure it's dated and time stamp. The seal have to be perfect the whole nine. I'm pretty sure all of that's going to be there. I'm pretty sure they're going to allow Bill Haney and his lawyers and stuff to see it. They're going to allow Ryan Garcia and his team to see it. And uh, then they're going to open it right the whole nine. But, bruh, I mean, come on, man. You're going to pass on this? Y'all going to pass on this and let Devin Haney uh, steal the show? Because Ryan Garcia is more than likely going to get suspended. Right? He's more than likely going to get suspended, which means they could go somewhere else. Right? You guys remember what happened with Muhammad Ali? He could fight uh, outside of the country, but he couldn't fight in the country until he was cleared. Right? So maybe they could fight somewhere else and it could still go down whether Ryan is uh, suspended or not suspended. You know, that's what Conor Ben is doing right now fighting in America and not fighting in the UK because of the same scenario uh, playing out with him being suspended over in the uh, in uh, the UK so yeah it, it's possible they could still see each other but um, man doing Devin a disservice or, or take the money right do Devin a disservice a guy who who technically was on his way right he was on his way and, and a guy technically used PEDs now can we say that the PEDs really took effect I mean maybe right if Austin is adding strength to Ryan Garcia, and then he's he's knocking Devin Haney across the ring with a left, bro, the first, the very first solid left hook he hit Devin Haney when he went down, right? Or no, he stumbled him, right? The the very first one. So if the Austin was in his system, then you could say, right? You could say that the power of Ryan Garcia was just uh, uh, outmatched for a guy like Devin Haney. It was, bro, and we we seen it. I'm not here to say that it's, it's it's fact or fiction, bro. Until the last result come out, once that B sample come out, then y'all gonna hear enough say whatever I got to say about the scenario, and I'm gonna leave it alone like I always do. I don't never like to sit on the topic too long, so it is what it is, bro. I'm start going live eventually, bro, but it is what it is on that aspect. We might sit on it for like an hour at that point, but right now, bro, it'd be like 10, 15 minutes of a video and I move on bro but this is crazy and this is news it's breaking news but it is news man uh Errol Spence Jr. and Ryan Garcia will be seeing each other really soon I don't know if it's, it's just them talking right now or if they're going to get the paperwork done between this week and next week but whatever the case is man we see these guys in press conference is going down Errol Spence Jr. don't have to drain weight he don't have to worry about making weight none of that bro because he's going to make weight bro He'll make weight at 154, but if you're giving him 160, Ryan, if you're saying it's okay at 160, right? He says it right here. Let's see uh, this P word next move. Won't do S. I'm calling him out, and there is no offer. Errol Spence, I welcome the challenge at 160 pounds via X, uh, which is Twitter. Ryan Garcia's Twitter account. So it is what it is, man. This is Fist Factory. I'm your host, Neff. I'm getting ready to sign out, man. Got to ask you guys what y'all think about this, man. Um, I'm not being too difficult on Ryan. I do think that it's a possibility that that fist speed might be good for him, bro. Um, and he might land 
some significant shots on Errol Spence. I'm not I'm not completely taking uh his win away, right? I'm not, bro. But bro, when you opening your body, like when you're leaving your body open the way that Ryan Garcia was doing with Devin Haney, I don't see how he's gonna have a chance when we know Errol Spence is a body snatcher. That's what he do. That's what he do. Like, you're playing right into his hands, bro. That's just like poking a bear when he sleep, and you ain't got no uh, automobile or a bike or something to help you get away from that damn bear, bro. That's exactly what this is, bro. So, this is what it is, man. This is Fist Factory. Your host, Nip, I'm signing out. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and I'll get to you guys when I can. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. For all night champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No mods here, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. For all night champions, sign up now.